Hi, it's me again with Corel Draw Tips and Tricks. And just earlier today, I made a video using the blend to make this, and it didn't come out very well. It came out reasonably good, but this came out perfect now. And I, I've been kind of on and off working on this thing all day. And I mean, not that much of the computer, but in my head. And I finally figured out, I was watching TV a while ago, and I thought, I'm going after it all wrong. I need to go from the inside out before I was cutting these lines and blending them. Well, these shapes aren't the same. I mean, they are. So, but we need to go from the inside. So I'm gonna open up the effects docker and go contour. And I'm gonna to contour to the inside just one time, 0.6. And we get these two lines and they're good because I needed to go from the inside because if I use the outside lines, I'd start hitting the other line. So I'm gonna break the contour part. I'm gonna grab that and just move it out of the way. Now, I just need one of these lines. So we're gonna grab the shape tool and grab both these nodes, right click and break them apart. Use the virtual segment delete key. Do the same for both ends. Grab them, right click, break apart. I only need one of these lines, but I got to select them both and break the curve apart. I'm going to move this out of the way now. I only need one of these lines. I think I could use either one of them. It doesn't matter. Now, we're going to take this line and we're going to contour to the outside five times at 0.2. This is where it kind of all started coming together. And if you were doing it, because see now we're kind of equal distance between our spaces. I'm gonna take a two point line. And if you were doing this for yourself or I was doing it for my own project, I'd make sure this line is perfect. Parallel to this line, we could actually move it down a little bit. Then I'm gonna grab another line and kind of, you could actually start from the outside and then go this way, but to make sure they're kind of perpendicular. Now here's where it all started coming together. I'm gonna to see how big this is. It's almost 10 inches, so I'm gonna set my nudge factor on 10. I'm gonna zoom in here so I can see what I'm doing. And I'm gonna smart fill every other line and nudge it over. And I could have added more contours. Now here's where the kind of the trick was. This is perfect. I mean, the S's follow it like a racetrack, but we need to make it back drop for this. So I'm gonna take a two point line. I'm gonna go from that node to that node. I'm gonna go down to the bottom, take my two point line, go to that node to that node. And what I'm trying to do is make an outline so I'm gonna select it all, I'm gonna get the boundary tool and I'm gonna move the boundary out of the way. I'm pretty sure he had his lines read, the video and what he sent me. So we're gonna select all these and make them red. Now we're gonna take this and make it black, take away the outline, nudge it over, object, order, back a page and looky there. It is perfect. Anyway, I hope it helped him and I learned a little bit today myself. Hope that helped a little bit.